varsity, the biggest thing to decide was if you're going to go tip or top. That's training in public practice and training out of public practice. I always knew I had an interest in banking and financial services. So there was no question I wanted to do my articles at a bank. I did a bit of homework about where I could get relevant experience and it was always advised to get exposure through auditing firms, which would be tip. We had some career days on campus. I went to the University of Pretoria where we had a chance to talk to all the companies that presented themselves as potential employees. At this point, all the firms were the same. The only difference was if it's either a big four or if it's not. The big four always had a presence and some might say it could be overwhelming, but there was always that face you knew that gave a bit of comfort, so it, it, it wasn't that bad. My first interview in orientation day was with a, four, was with a firm, one of the big four firms at a Brooklyn office. They offered me a contract. Unfortunately, I declined it. I was offered very quick at another big four firm at two of their offices, one in Pretoria and another one in Northbridge. The culture was great, but unfortunately that didn't tickle me. I also had the option to sign with them, but I didn't. The Nesbitt office was too small for me, and maybe that's why I eliminated the option of working at a small to medium firm. I did ever give myself a chance to see what small to medium firms had to offer, and accepted an invite by a smaller firm to join them for sound dinners for a meet and greet. I guess they must have liked me because they called me for an interview and immediately offered me a contract, which after my thought, I also declined. When I joined Tutuka, they gave me the opportunity to attend a one-week orientation at KPMG in Hatfield. Apart from some familiar faces, I liked the culture and for the first time, I took some business cards to contact the people for more information about their office. A while later, I went for a one-day orientation week at KPMG in Parktown, where amongst other things I wrote a test, as well as engaged in some group work where we were individually rated based on how we carried out the task assigned to us as a group. During the breaks we had that day, we had an opportunity to engage with other trainees and I was told about the financial services division within the audit department. That's where I got hooked. I told myself if I'm going to audit, then I'm going to audit banks and financial service entities. Ever since I did a considerable amount of homework about this financial service division, I learned that KPMG Parktown at the time was the only firm that had split industries into four divisions and within your training you could audit the kind of industry you're more interested in and if you didn't like it, you could always transfer to another division that you might feel is better for you. I knew at that point I'd found a firm I'd love to work for. After the orientation day, I received a phone call saying I didn't make it for the Parktown office. The lady, however, encouraged me to apply again the following year. I insisted she disclosed to me what I had not done right and how, could I, uh, how I could improve going forward. I can't remember what the response was, but I'd call her every second day to inquire when the next interviews were and how I should go about applying. She eventually gave me the HR manager's number, and when I called the HR manager, he told me I should call him towards the end of my varsity year and you'll see how it can be of assistance. During my CTA, which is the Certificate in the Theory of Accounting or Honours in Accounting, I went to another orientation day at a financial services institution. Amongst other CTA students from various universities and provinces, I made the cut for the second round of assessment where we wrote a psychometric test. I made it to the shortlist again, after that to go to the third and final round of which was a panel interview. Out of five interviewees who were considered for the training, only three would be given a contract. I received a call a while later saying I didn't make it and I was not offered a contract. A part of me was disappointed, but yet again another part of me was relieved. Partly because subconsciously, I always knew that big industry players always recommended the exposure afforded by the big four. I can't recall what happened between then and about two months later when I got a phone call from Tutuga Bursary saying I'll be working at KPMG Parktown. In my first week, we had an orientation week where they introduced us to the firm and informed us everything we needed to know as first years. We were given an option to decide which division we would like to do our training in and of course, I opted for financial services and was indeed allocated to the division. The culture here is diversified and as a young black professional, I feel it's a place I can keep building my career as there's no discrimination in the opportunities afforded to the graduates and trainees. So far, it's been an environment where I'm responsible for my own development and at the same time, there's a mentorship program where I'm allocated a counseling manager who keeps track of my progress and ensures I'm in par with what is expected of me as a trainee. Until today, I'm happy to say that KPMG Parktown was my employer of choice and there's not been any regrets.